Welcome back to Wisconsin Family. We're here at the office of Dr. Jay Hazen over on West Washington Avenue. There's a little bit of construction outside, but don't let that deter you. They are still open for business, and we're really excited to talk with him later on the program. But first, we're going to talk some chiropractic action here, specifically back in action. And we are joined now by doctors Eric and Mallory Monty from Back in Action. How are you guys? Doing great. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Yeah, you bet. Thanks for uh, for Thanks coming for being here. here. Yeah. yeah. Good Very to see nice. you. I'm going to just go ahead and shake everybody's hand here. Why not? <laughs> Justin, That's good. nice to see good you. Good to see you, Lee. Good to see you. So, um, you know, everybody uh, that I've, you know, I've talked to a lot of chiropractors uh, over the years, and uh, everybody, I mean, the foundation is the same, but everybody has a slightly different philosophy. Can you tell, Tell us a little bit about your approach to care. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So um, as you already mentioned, we own Back in Action Chiropractic in Wanakee. Um, we are neurologically based chiropractors practicing principled chiropractic. And so what that means is that we focus on the body as a whole, not just whether someone is in pain. And so, you know, we see pregnant women, mm -hmm. infants, kids, um, parents, middle-aged individuals, um, the elderly. Um, so everybody, and we see all sorts of people in our office. Um, and we, <laughs> shoot, um, and so you see all sorts of people and you see women, children, men, uh, everybody, health, sick we see, people, healthy people. Yeah. Yeah. Another important approach to our care is that we focus on education. So making sure that our patients know why we're doing everything that we're right. doing and why we're not just focusing on their symptoms. I think that's so important because, you know, so much of, uh, of Western medicine, they do a great job at some things, but they kind of focus on when you're sick, Absolutely. come see us. And you yep. guys are kind of focusing probably more on the, the preventative aspect of things Absolutely. and making sure that you're healthy all the yeah. time. Yeah, so. right, right. So since we mentioned already what you guys primarily focus on, can you tell me more about infants, when infants yeah, come in and yeah. children come in? Um, so most people don't realize, I mean, if you've ever seen an adult be adjusted before, mm -hmm. it doesn't look like that whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, what I tell parents is that the pressure that I'm going to use to check to see if a newborn's neck is misaligned mm -hmm. is the same pressure you would use to check to see if a tomato or a peach is ripe. It's very soft. It's very gentle. Okay. Oftentimes the babies just sleep through it the whole, the whole way through. So pretty cool. Um, um, another thing people often wonder is that a newborn's not going to tell you that they have neck pain. Mm -hmm. And so why would a newborn need to be adjusted? And so we see babies in our office for things like colic or reflux, right? And, you know, the parents will take that baby in if they have colic and the doctor might say, well, hopefully you'll eventually get some sleep, right? right. Um, or reflux, they might put that baby on medication. And I know I'm, I have two small children. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't want my newborn baby to be on a medication that an adult might take. Um, and so why not try a more natural approach? Right. And um, I've heard too, my brother-in-law's a chiropractor um, in another city, but he mentioned he gets a lot of kids coming in that have like bedwetting yes. problems. So do you guys see a lot of people in, in that avenue as well, or kids in that avenue? Absolutely. Um, you know, a lot of the things that affect babies um, or kids, bedwetting, ADD, allergies, wow. asthma, mm -hmm. absolutely. Wow. Okay. Wow. Interesting. Now, you know, a, a lot of folks who get into, I can tell you guys are very passionate about what you do here. Um, a lot of folks who get into career paths like this often have an inspiration. What inspired you to get into chiropractic care? Yeah, so it's me again. <laughs> um, and so you're just uh, a prime. Yeah, yeah, right. He's here. But Eric, you look good. <laughs> um, it actually comes back to infants again. My brother mm -hmm. uh, struggled with ear infections as a baby, mm -hmm. and so um, parents tried medications, but it was eventually a recommendation to a chiropractor that really seemed to fix the issue for him. And so um, that was my exposure early on. And so when I was figuring out my career path, it just kind of seemed like a logical option. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'm presuming, since you guys are in such a great little community out there, yeah. how are you guys um, involved in your community a little bit? Yeah, great. So last weekend we were out at the Dane County Fair, just talking to people. Um, this coming weekend we're going to be at the Wano Fest Parade. Um, we love to go out in the community, educate people about what chiropractic care is, especially yeah. neurologically based chiropractic care. So what we do is we actually have a tool in our office that we run up the back of your neck and that's going to let us know how much again, pressure is on that nerve and okay. that the pressure is going to be equivalent to how that nerve is functioning. Okay. So how does it, does it kind of scan like the back of the neck and then you, you kind of see on a monitor like basically yep, it gives some feedback? It's just a quick like, scan and then it's going to yeah. pop up like a bar graph about how much pressure is on the individual nerves and then we have a, it's a, it's like a nerve chart that we can actually sure. pull from your individual assessment, go over to a nerve chart and kind of link what you're telling us that you're experiencing mm -hmm. to the neurological system. So we can say this is why you're having headaches or wet in the oh, bed or this is why, or you know, so we can actually give people a different alternative. That's interesting because I remember once uh, I, I was at uh, 
a seminar or a, a ex expose, some, not expose, uh, expo, and uh, they had a, a demonstration just like that, kind of very similar to what you described. And then when he did the scan on me, he said, "Do you have trouble with sinus infections?" And I said, "Yes, actually, I do." And he said, "Yep, yeah. it's, it doesn't doesn't surprise me at all." So you Perfect. can try see a lot just by doing that little scan. Yeah, that may have been me because I met all of that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all over. Right? Very oh cool. my gosh. So I think we're running out of time here. So can you guys tell me where you guys are located and everything and how to get a hold of you and if you have any specials coming up? Yeah, we are right downtown Wanakee, so just a short drive out of Madison. If you're really downtown in Wanakee, there's no way you can miss us. Um, you can head to our Facebook page. It's uh, Back in Action, and then our area code 608-850-7300. Our right. web page is backinactionwanakee.com, and then there you can actually see our special. We're running a $21 special um, currently, and if you want to, you can check out exactly what that first day uh, process would look like. Oh, that's wonderful. Fantastic. Great. All that information in the bottom part of your screen. Doctors Eric and Mallory Monti, thank you so much for being here with thank us. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. for. Okay. Maybe we'll have you back in action. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away. There is more Wisconsin Family coming up after the break.